the title, the word Genen, is it's a uh, representation. It is it, the idea that slaves, well, Afri I don't like using the word slaves, enslaved Africans used for, to refer to, to, to the Africa that they couldn't remember. And so I always remembered that phrase, Genen, 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 or that word, Genen. Um, and so when I created this world, that was what I wanted to name it. You know, it was that, it, it's, I guess, really, it's the mythical Africa. It's what is remembered, but what is, what is not just remembered, what is remembered in the mind and in the soul and in just in the, in the, in the body, in the spirit. So it, it's the Africa that exists but doesn't exist. So that's where that came from. And then it kind of just took on its own shape after I started writing about it. Well, first of all, when I'm writing, I don't think about whether it's going to be young adult or adult. I just write the story and it goes wherever it goes. Who Fears Death, however, was, um, I think it was, it was adult from the very beginning because of the story, not because of, you know, I was thinking about categories, but from the very beginning, the story was from a, even though the character was very young, it's a really, I guess you could say, it has very dark elements. So in that, in that way, it was an adult novel. And also, um, when I was writing it, I knew I wasn't going to hold back on certain things, that I wanted to show certain things in full color without kind of um, doing a lot of explaining. And that's really the difference between young adult and adult for me. If, there, if there's some kind of violence or some kind of issue that, uh, so, some kind of sensitive issue that is, that I'm dealing with, in young adult, I'll explain it more in some way. I'll feel the need to explain, I'll feel more responsible, but with adults, I can just throw it out there without any explanation. So yeah, I think that Who Fears Death was adult from the very beginning. Yes, I just had a, a three-book contract with Hodder and Stoughton, and um, the first book will be a book called Lagoon, and Lagoon is a, it's basically a novel about an alien invasion in the city of Lagos. The word Lagos, well, first of all, Lagos is a Nigerian city. It's a, probably one of the, or it is one of the biggest cities in Africa. It is the biggest city in Nigeria. It's huge, it's, it's crazy. I call it New York on crack. It's very fast paced. And I knew, always knew I wanted to write about it. Um, Lagos means lagoon in Portuguese. So that's where the title comes from. So yeah, um, so that story is basically an alien invasion that happens in Lagos in, pre I'd say present day, but just a little bit in the past in, two in 2009. So I guess you'd say it's alternate whatever, but in my head it's really not. There's a lot more going on. And then um, the second book with Hodder will be my book called The Book of Phoenix, which started as a short story that was published in Clark's World, then Subterranean published it as a novella because I just kept writing and writing and writing, and then I continued, and now it's a novel, and so that will be my second. And it's sort of a prequel to Who Fears Death, but it's it's a lot more than that. <laughs> it's just, it's nuts. So that's my second one. The third one um, with Hotter, I have an idea of what it is. I've started writing it and I hope this will be the one that will be the third one, but it's not really definite yet. So I'll leave that one quiet.